So, apparently HP decided to make a powerful developer mobile workstation in the body of a Z-Book, and then just not tell anybody. Hello world, my name is Andy Silvers, and today we're talking about the HP Dev One. Alright, so my name is Andy Silvers, I'm an author, filmmaker, and YouTuber, and today we're going to talk about HP's newest and, in some sense, secretest laptop, the HP Dev One. In fact, as far as I'm aware, it doesn't even appear anywhere on HP's main website, and it certainly, so far as I can tell, does not appear on their partner website, System76. So, HP's Dev1 laptop is a really, really interesting computer and something that I was not expecting them to make. So, officially, it's a developer mobile workstation with Linux-based operating system called Pop! OS that is intended for software development and it is an AMD CPU-based product. However, unofficially, it's the first HP ZBook with an AMD Ryzen CPU. Now, I put ZBook in quotes because it's not actually a ZBook, which is why it's not on the ZBook page. But it uses an old ZBook body or laptop body, and it has um, a lot of ZBook specs. So, let's talk about the new product. So, what's really cool about this thing is that it came out of nowhere and it was quietly uh, launched. I wouldn't even say announced. I'm not aware of seeing any announcement videos or, or ads or, or anything. Um, so, it was quietly sort of launched and it is a very fascinating and unique product. So, the HP Dev1 is a laptop, I would argue a mobile workstation, uh, that is short for HP Developer 1. And, uh, by the way, if you're looking to c check out the device or purchase the device, a link can be found directly in the video description. So, you don't have to go hunting for it. So, the HP Developer 1, or Developer's Laptop, is a mobile workstation with... Uh, Linux operating system, an AMD Ryzen 7 Pro CPU, um, and AMD Radeon integrated graphics. So, what makes this laptop special is that it is kind of a one of a kind. It really, it's it's basically a one off. You'll notice the name Dev One. So far as I'm aware, there's only one of them. Uh, this is the first time HP has done something like this, to my knowledge. And certainly the first time they've done it recently. So there's a lot to get to get into with this device. Um, a lot struck me, and I'm sure will strike you instantly about this product. One of the reasons I'm even talking about it is because someone in the comments of my previous video on the ZBook Firefly mentioned they were like, you know, is this ZBook Firefly good for software development? The answer is yes, by the way. However, this device is designed to be better. So let's take a look at it and let's talk about it. And there is a chance that I will actually get one in-house, so to speak, and I'll be able to physically review it for you. So in the comments, if you think you'd actually be interested in a physical review of the Dev1, please let me know and I will see if I can make that happen. Speaking of which, this channel is not currently monetized. However, I am so thankful to all 275 plus subscribers that I currently have. So if you're looking to support this channel, not only am I a YouTuber, but I'm also an author. That's right, I have three books available right now on platforms like Amazon, Barnes & Noble, Walmart's website, etc. Uh, all of these books cover a huge age range. I have a book for th ages 3 to 6 called The Very Colorful Caterpillar, for ages 8 to 12 called Red Sprites and Blue Jets, and for ages 16 and up called Solomon Grando vs. the Jupiter Witch. By the way, that book, Solomon Grando, 
is currently available in hardback for 50% off. 50% off. So if you're thinking you can't afford my books, guess what? They go on sale a lot. So you probably can, and it really helps to support this channel and this content if you check them out. And of course, the links will be in the description. All right. So let's take a look at the new HP Dev1 built for developers laptop. So the Dev1 is a very unique product uh, from HP. And like I said, kind of a secret product, something that I didn't really know about. And I'm sure a lot of you watching this didn't know. So what's interesting about this product is first off the price, it's 1100, 1099 call it 1100, which is an extremely reasonable price. You can go to Walmart and find a laptop for that price that has a plastic chassis and garbage screen and, you know, it doesn't have all the features like the little joystick in the, the keyboard area and the Bang & Olufsen speakers and so on and so forth. Like, this is an incredible deal. And I know exactly how HP was able to make this computer and sell it for such a low price. And I will explain that throughout the video. The first thing I want to say is that if you're wondering if you can configure your Dev1 to your liking, the answer is no. So far as I'm aware, you cannot configure this laptop at all. It comes with a CPU, RAM, SSD. By default, um, HP has set the specs, so to speak, and you cannot change them. I mean, you can obviously upgrade the RAM yourself after you purchase the device, but HP does not have a configurator, shall we say, to allow you to customize it yourself. However, in other news, or in related news, the HP Dev1 is available right now to purchase. You don't have to, it's not pre-order, you can literally just go get it. And according to HP, I can't back this up myself, but they say that you can have your unit within about 24 hours. I would probably play it safe and say 48, but that's very fast. So if you're in the market for it, I would check it out. So let's get into it. The HP Dev1 is a new laptop and its body is the exact same body uh, as the, the, the actual chassis is the same from the HP ZBook Firefly G814, meaning the 14 inch version. So be aware, it's a 14 inch laptop. So the screen is 14 inches diagonally. The resolution of the display is 1920 by 1080, which is more than enough probably at that screen size and for the developer audience that this device is targeted towards. So the screen is pretty good, but it is not my absolute favorite. Namely, so HP markets the screen as a thousand nit screen, and I'm not saying they're lying. Here's, here's the problem. They don't really clarify on this page anywhere, including in the official data sheet. At least not, not that I can tell. But it would seem that the display is actually one of HP's privacy screens, meaning that it's only 1,000 nits in theory. In practice, it looks more like, uh, like 800, which is still great. But you just need to be aware that the privacy screen will affect the visual perceived contrast um, and, of course, off-angle viewing, which isn't the end of the world. But I do wish they had gone with maybe one of their... 400 nit sort of regular displays and then allowed you to just purchase a privacy screen from Amazon and stick it on there. But obviously you in the comment section could let me know what you think. However, the device is really fascinating and relatively inexpensive. So the HP ZBook Firefly 14 G8 that this device clearly uses the chassis for is uh, quite a bit more expensive when it first launched. Like a lot. I think it started at like fifteen to seventeen hundred at the starting. Um, so how is it possible that this developer custom laptop is so cheap at ten ninety nine? Well, I can tell you why. The first reason is because it doesn't have a dedicated graphics card of any kind, nor the option to put one in. The second reason is because HP does not have to pay for the marketing, research, and development of a whole new chassis. They literally just use the one they've already made. Next is because they don't have to pay Microsoft for Windows 10 or Windows 11 licensing since they're partnered with a company called System76, which I will get into a bit later. They're partnered with them for the operating system called Pop! OS, which is Linux-based. 
Um, and then the final reason the device is so inexpensive is because there's not more than one configuration, which means HP doesn't have to pay their engineers or their team to build a whole bunch of custom units for you. They just ship out the same thing over and over again, which makes the pipeline a lot easier, thus lowering costs. All right, so the specs of this thing, I'm sure you'll want to know, as I did. It is very similar to the ZBook Firefly 14 G8, as I've said. So uh, if you want to know about the physicality of that, please check that device out just by Googling it. However, this device is unique because it has Linux Pop OS 22.04. It has an AMD Ryzen 7 5850U processor with 8 cores and 16 threads. Uh, with a uh, 1.9 gigahertz base clock and a 4.4 gigahertz boost. It comes with 16 gigs of dual channel DDR4 3200 megahertz memory, which is also a way that they're saving money because they're not using DDR5 memory in this device. They're using DDR4, which is more than fast enough for the types of workloads they expect you to use, but I'm still noting that. It comes with a terabyte of PCIe 3x4 NVMe 2280 SSD storage, so I believe that's um, Gen 3 SSD, which is also cheaper for HP. Um, and uh, you can upgrade that to uh, 2 terabytes, I believe, at the maximum, but you would have to do that yourself. Uh, but luckily, the device is so inexpensive that it wouldn't cost you a ton of money to just sell your current SSD and then upgrade it to, say, 2 terabytes. Um, because this is the same exact body as the previous Firefly I mentioned, the port selection is the same, and the internals are the same. So two RAM slots, so dim, and one SSD slot, and I believe the Wi-Fi card is upgradable. Uh, I think so. Uh, as for the ports, it has the same ports as the other device with a USB Type-C, oh no, sorry, two USB Type-C 10 gigabit ports, um, two USB Type-A ports, which is great, and a headphone microphone combo jack and an HDMI 2.0 port. This device also has a barrel pin AC power connector uh, with a 65 watt external brick and a 53 watt hour internal battery, which makes sense. So this device is not a mega ultra powerful workstation. However, the AMD Ryzen uh, 7 5th gen or 5th, uh, five fifth gen CPUs are incredibly powerful um, as compared to what the 15 watt TDP would suggest. And this is because the AMD CPU in here uses AMD's 7 nanometer process and is extremely efficient and also has 8 cores. So, uh, I'm not going to talk performance forever, but I will say that the Ryzen 7 Pro CPU, the 5850U, um, with 8 cores and 15 watt uh, TDP, performs uh, slightly better, if not similar, to the last gen i5 11500H 6 core CPU with 45 watt TDP. And it performs about 10 to 20 percent worse than the last gen i7 11800H 8 core 45 watt CPU that I have in my ZBook Fury 15 G8 which is what I'm using to do research for this video right now. It's also worth noting that HP is pushing some special accessories with this device, uh, including the System76 Launch Keyboard, which is obviously a keyboard that is a very much a manual uh, Cherry MX style keyboard. Uh, I believe, let's see here, it is a milled chassis design, uh, RGB backlighting apparently. So it is a very nice keyboard, and the, the secret to this keyboard is that it is a developer keyboard that is created and sold through HP's partner for this device, System76. So I think now is probably a good time as any to talk about System76. So System76 is basically what you might call a boutique manufacturer who creates uh, sort of custom hardware, software, and... Um, uh, products, solutions that are designed for developers, programmers, animators. They, they're kind of like if the HP ZBook line was just an entire company. But what's interesting about System76 is that they're entirely Linux-based. 
And their claim to fame is their uh, patented Pop OS, which is an operating system for STEM and creative professionals uh, who, as they say, use the computer to discover and create. Wow, incredible. So Pop OS is a Linux-based operating system. And HP has partnered with the parent company, System76, to create this laptop. So, I'm not an expert in Linux uh, operating systems, and I don't want to claim to be. Uh, however, I can tell you that uh, Pop! OS has a few uh, in important features, including uh, workflow customiz customization um, and auto-tiling with Pop! Shell. So, basically, this allows you to uh, organize your work and... It and let's see, in an efficient way, by allowing you to move, resize, and arrange windows yourself, and um, allowing your OS to do it for you if you'd like. It also has keyboard navigation shortcuts built into the OS. It has stacking features, which allows you to stack application windows atop of each other, a bit like tabs in a browser. Um, when you are working in multiple workspaces at once. So for those of you who want or need a Linux-based operating system, Pop! OS comes natively with the new Dev1 and is a really unique uh, option and something that I have not really seen too often. I mean, HP does sometimes sell Red Hat and other sort of Linux-based operating systems with their ZBook laptops and particularly de desktops. But it's really unique to see it in a one-off laptop like this at such a competitive price. So the long story short of it is that the HP Dev1 laptop is kind of like the ZBook we've all been waiting for. It finally uses AMD's Ryzen CPUs, which no ZBook that I'm remotely aware of has ever used. Uh, and it utilizes a remote or a native Linux operating system. Uh, through a partnership with System76. It is a uh, familiar chassis, but it's a sort of new way of working. And what's important is that this product is designed and targeted towards a very specific subset of creative and sort of graphics professionals who would need something for coding, compiling code, and of course, software web development. So if you're in the market for something like this, let me know in the comment section if this device seems like it's for you. Like I said, the link to where you can look into it and or purchase it is in the description. Uh, if you think this device is for you, let me know. One thing that I like is that it's only $1,100, which is a lot less money than any ZBook I have ever seen, actually. A ZBook laptop. And so that means that this device is truly competitive and uh, pretty feature rich with all the build quality of any other ZBook. It has um, a high end backlit keyboard, Bang & Olufsen Audio. It has the two uh, buttons, uh, clicking buttons on the trackpad. I didn't realize this product was ever uh, going to come out. HP kind of, a, kind of released it sort of secretly. So let me know what you think about the HP Dev1 product. Uh, in the comments section, if you want to see a full hands-on, or in my case, hand-on review, please comment below and let me know, and subscribe to the channel, not to mention check out my books. It really helps support the channel, and I promise they're good books. So uh, I'll see you in the next video.